Okay. So when I was young, like seven or eight, really throughout my whole childhood, but especially at that age, I really liked spying on people. Um, I would watch people out on the street from my bedroom, which was on the second floor facing the street. And it had these green wooden shutters on the inside. So I could stand there and just open them just a touch and be able to look through, kind of open them all the way. But then in my mind, if I closed them slowly enough, nobody would tell that I was, I was watching them. Um, and so I saw people you know, having fights. I saw people kind of drinking their coffee while reading the paper on their front porch. Um, and a couple years later, I realized or found out, was told, I'm not sure exactly how it happened, I needed glasses kind of my whole life, um, but never, you know, my prescription wasn't strong enough that it was apparent to everybody. But it was strong enough that the people I was spying on were really only like 15 feet away. And my logic was that if I can't clearly see their eyes and where they're pointing, surely they can't see my eyes and where they're pointing. So I could, you know, as long as my head is pointed down, my eyes could be right at them and they'll never know the difference. Um, so these two things didn't really connect until a couple years after I had glasses and like was seeing how easy it was to see people looking at me and thinking, oh, oh no. Oh, I've been so obvious for so many years, just staring at people with my head cocked in weird directions. And I think that was actually short, sort of a big shift in my life. Like I, I stopped being as open and free with kind of my weirdness because all of a sudden, like I wasn't in like this 10 foot bubble of observation, there was like, you know, a hundred feet, everybody around me could see me and it, it felt really naked. Um, but all that said, I, I am a little better at spying on people now. <laughs>